Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Bob Brothers Podcast. Me and Tony Baker. I'm Kevin Sage. He's Tony Baker. Yes. We, we just we just be liking to be laughing, man. Man, it's just good. To the us. world sucks, man, and your job sucks too. So come spend thirty <laughs> minutes with us and talk about randomness and movies. We yes. gonna fix the. We gonna get these movies in here because yeah. we like movies. Let us right? get the movies in. Did you man. watch that Blackberry movie? The who? The Blackberry movie. Blackberry. Blackberry. No. This is good. I forgot. It's I'll a good time. Forgetting. I just watched it randomly because it had popped up. And mm-hmm. I was like, how did y'all, what happened? Yeah. And then I, I love, Blackberry is still the best phone I've ever had. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't believe they fumbled it so bad yeah, to have zero man. percent. Like, I get the iPhone, but y'all went to zero? Yeah. Like, you shouldn't be at zero. <laughs> you had 45% of the market. Phone, man. Oh, I loved it. I was, was so just... proud. BBM, man. Oh. I used to be texting in the bank under my dress, um, under my drawer. Man. No looking. Oh. Good times. That was great. All right, y'all. Today, top 10 quotable movies. Mm. All right. That'd be movies that you quote, movies that you hear quoted all the right. time. I feel like we're going to be heavy comedy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But also a lot of, you know. Some dramas uh, we, might sneak up in there. Some dramas in there. I think no, I'm going me. first this time. Yeah. Are you? Me? Uh... You were first on the balls, right? Okay, so it's you again. Uh, Friday. Friday. Friday is just, damn near everything said in that movie is a quotable. Absolutely. Damn near every, every... ounce of, of dialogue is quotable. That's why, to me, a movie that's really quotable feels easy to watch. Because mm-hmm. you just be saying your favorite parts the whole time. Right. And from the jump. From the jump. Look what you did to my curtain. <laughs> Break yourself, fool. Me and my brother still, we always, <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah. And that's a I throwaway. That. That's, ah, yes, I did. That's I, a, not even part of the movie. No. Like, that's a quick little. I do that all the time. Huh? <laughs> yes, yes, I, I did. did. Like, that's. You get up and cook or do something. <laughs> Make it enough. Make it enough. And that's that's just on the strength of just a scene we just rolled up on. Why your phone oh, laugh? That's Melissa. What? Mm. She knows I'm recording. <laughs> Lit. You. That's nice. Are those shorts? Yes. We recording, Melissa. We in here working. <laughs> no, girl. You know I'm at the. <laughs> <laughs> no, we girl. We in here we working. <laughs> Just but look, 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 look at these shorts. <laughs> look at these shorts for the boys. <laughs> shorts, shorts. Hey, we all set. <laughs> oh my bad. You you knew when I called. You know where I'm at. I know, I know, but it's just real quick. Sure. Look at these shorts I got for the boys. <laughs> They're gonna be real cute. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> Came in tough too. Shorts, y'all. <laughs> Look at these with the pin strike. <laughs> we was running our oh, mouths too. We were like, and then no shorts. <laughs> uh, you know I'm at work. Man. All right. She gonna send me the picture of the shorts. <laughs> she sent the picture. She like, you gonna get these. <laughs> Hold on, I know you're busy. When you take, when you take a break. I understand your shoes right now, so I'm going to send a pic instead of calling this time. <laughs> but look at these shorts. This cannot wait until uh, later, Kevin. Look at these shorts, for, at the, these for, shorts. The boys. for the boys. All right, anyway, <laughs> Friday is quotable beginning yeah, to end. For sure. Even like the, non, the, the, the pops, uh, you win some. You lose, lose some, but you live. You live. You live to fight another day. That's an that's a that's an approach to life. Yeah. That's like you man. kids today are nothing but punks. <laughs> Look at you. I think you got to pick up a gun. You a man. I see John with his food, man. We use this. Mm-hmm. Squared up on him. He did a good job. He in that did movie. good, man. When he that scene where Craig is in the kitchen, the way he was just eating. Oh, that. them grapes. Like, why would you eat a grape like that? I come every time I come in the kitchen. You in the kitchen. Why are you and eating that? Goddamn grape refrigerator. Like that. Eating up all. She she cringing over there because of chewing. Does that bother you, Leah? The smacking. Oh. People, people hate food smacks. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. I follow uh, Chris, Chrisette Michelle on Instagram, and she was doing like a poll in her stories about the most annoying sounds, and people were just chiming in there. Mm -hmm. It's like for me, it's when Harleys are super loud, or like the race car <sighs> driving down a residential. Brack -a, brack -a, brack -a, brack -a. <laughs> You on the regular streets. <laughs> brack em, brack em, brack em, brack em, brack em. I'll be like, we get it. We get That's it. That's how they would write it in a comic book. Brack em, brack em, brack em, brack, em, brack em. You over there by the CVS, bro. Chill. But a lot of people, when she did the poll, when she tallied up the numbers, mm -hmm. when people voted on the final three, smacking, chewing loud. smacking and chewing. My brother, rest his soul. <laughs> I used to want to sock him out, man. Just <laughs> like, why are you eating like a Viking, man? Stop! <laughs> just it would like make you not hungry. <laughs> it's so disgusting, man. Just, just chicken grease on his. I used to just be like, I want to steal off on. I used to want to steal off on him, told eating chicken all loud. Uh, <laughs> <this> mouth wipe. <laughs> when you wipe like this. You're just, just, just barbarian, man. You you just rode in on a ship from Iceland. You got an axe on the ground tonight. We dine in victory, but tomorrow we dine in hell. <laughs> Drinking ale. That's how they always had them wiping, <laughs> and then they had a woman right here. Yeah, grapes. <laughs> uh, I hate it, man. <laughs> I'd be able to steal off on him. Oh. Oh, I'll sock you right now, man. Close your mouth. The weird part is it does not affect me. What? It don't bother me. Uh, People be smacking and chewing, I'll be like, if, if I don't see, I don't, like, I don't, I don't like to see what's in your mouth, mm -hmm. but the sound, I'm just like. Drives me crazy. <laughs> Dri Most makes people. me not hungry. I used to legitimately get mad at him. <laughs> Like, not, I'm going to go eat <laughs> if Will's fried chicken. I'm going to go eat in the car. Yeah. Because you're going to ruin this whole experience for me. It's just, why are you doing that? you eating like you like somebody's going to come take it from you. <laughs> you just raving his hunger. <laughs> Stop, man. Stop. All right. <laughs> Next. Uh, <laughs> Coming to America. Yes, of course. Your royal plenis is clean, Come Your Highness. On, I say that to myself. <laughs> After I wash my meat off, I'll be like, your royal plenis is clean, Your Highness. Come on. Man. That boy good. <laughs> Love Sexual it. Sexual chocolate. Reverend Brown. <laughs> Rocket Marciano. Every time we talk about boxing, somebody put Rocket Marciano. <laughs> you ain't never met Martin Luther the King. Yes, I did. No, you did not. <laughs> <laughs> and your rents do. Don't be don't be pulling that falling down the stairs shit on me. You conscious. You conscious. <laughs> Fart. <laughs> oh. You boys from Africa are used to that sort of thing. <laughs> Why would Frankie face off say that? I wanna I wanna play that role. So <laughs> out of all the roles in coming to America, I wanna be that landlord. <laughs> I would love to play that role, man. <laughs> Don't be pulling that falling down the stairs shit on me, cause that's my that's my personality. No stool, your red stool, mother. He was like, <laughs> imagine falling down the steps cause your rent is due and you ain't got it. Oh shit, the landlord. Like that was your plan. I gotta break my leg, man. I guess I ain't got it, and he not going for it at all. No, nah, don't nah. be pulling that. <laughs> you <No>. conscious? <laughs> not you're okay. You conscious? <laughs> the fact that they thought about adding that into the, the whole filmmaking process is just genius, dog. You go ahead, you fall down the stairs and you avoiding paying the rent in this slumlord, sleazy ass building. Oh god! Oh my god! <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I mean, well, if you're really a prince, I'll marry you, man. And that's just a small piece of the Absolutely. story. Absolutely, ain't nothing quotable after that, though. The movie's over right You there, always me. coming for that ending. Rewind. <laughs> I don't want the wedding. I don't want nothing past that train. <laughs> Rewind. Uh, All right, you're up, Tone. All right. Oh, so I got Anchorman. Anchorman. Oh, yeah. 100%. 100%. Yes. 100%. Classy, San Diego. Oh, yeah. I always do this. Always... He's fiddling. Man, when. Uh, Anchorman. Anchorman. The first time I saw that. Because I saw that late. Me too. I saw it on video. I saw, I saw it on video too. Mm -hmm. People was raving about it. I didn't want to see it. When did it come out? 
It was like 2004. I was about to say, I was in college seven. at this time. Yeah. And a whole bunch of white dudes was like, man, Anchorman. I was like, man, y'all are white. <laughs> but then. <laughs> just dismissed them. Because I just, you know what I'm saying? Like, their humor, my white, my white boys in college, my, my white homeboys in college, it was all yeah. like dick jokes. Yeah. It was like, uh it's a different, It's a different brand of humor. Yeah. For sure. So I thought it was that. Yeah. But then when I watched it, man, I remember when, when Jack Black picked that dog oh up. Oh, my God. Oh, this is happening. He was like, now nah, this is happening. <laughs> he was like, what do you love? And he was like, I love a uh, nice <laughs> such and such. And, and my good friend Baxter here. <laughs> now this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> the way he kicked Baxter off that goddamn bridge. The way oh, Baxter God. turned into a stuffed animal oh, tone, man. I was crying. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> I still say now this is happening. Now this, now this is happening. <laughs> he kicked it so <laughs> Oh <Baxter>! Grosser. <laughs> he ran over and looked. Baxter! Baxter! Ah! Uh, I'm in a glass cage of emotion. Uh, milk. This is a bad choice. Anchorman oh. is one of the best comedies of all time. He's played the Cologne on. Oh, my God. 63% of the time. It, it works, works every time. Every time. He was like, I don't know if that's a... Uh... He was like, ooh, that's a pungent <laughs> stench. It's a formidable stench. It's quite pungent. <laughs> Dog, I was crying. I, was, I had to go back to the white boys. Be like, man, my bad, y'all. Man, listen, y'all really knocked it out the park with Anchor Man, and it's still funny today. Uh, man, listen, that movie still undefeated. just as funny. Will Ferrell is like, he is so good. It doesn't even seem like he's in the character. Right, Ron Burgundy is a, he is a old school newscaster for, for sure, real. For sure. He's just in a movie. Yeah. He just he was in Tom Brady roast as Ron Burgundy. Oh, it's very, man, Still funny. He wasn't even roasting. He was just saying nice things about Tom. <laughs> it's so hot. Oh my God. <laughs> Jazz flute, man. Oh. Dog was crying. I love that movie, man. Brick killed the guy. <laughs> the trident. <laughs> yeah. Lamp. Man, oh. You're just saying stuff that you see. <laughs> I love lamp. With your bubbling lips. <laughs> when Vince Vaughn rolled up on them on the bike. <laughs> it always makes me laugh when, they, when they're circling them on the bikes. You can see Vince Vaughn struggling to get the to get his foot placement down and, and the kickstand going. <laughs> Dress shoes. <laughs> man, beginning to oh, end. I love that movie. movie that movie perfect. caught me off guard. Because I was like, I wasn't interested. And then when I saw it, I was Dying. Oh my God, I was crying laughing. I'm sorry, I doubted this movie. All right, so we got Friday coming to America, Anchorman. I'm going to go live. Okay. I still. Big quotables. Big quotables. Just watch this the with the boom, boys. Boom room. Man. Did they like it? Oh, loved it. it That's why they're so hyped to meet Martin. Okay, gotcha. Because they didn't, obviously, they didn't grow up on Martin, but yeah. they've seen some episodes. But um, <laughs> they had just watched life. Yeah. And Martin, as the. It, we talk about it all the time. Martin is the straight man. When they're young. Yes. And then, and then when they switches. get old, Martin goes off for 40 minutes. Yes. But one of my, man, when they go to the, <laughs> they go to get that pie. Yeah. <laughs> and Eddie Murphy sees it from, from the jump. Right. And Martin is just like, no, nah, man. <laughs> we, we, I'm home. I, <laughs> ma'am. Ma'am. <laughs> I am hungry. Now, we just want some. Uh, the Billy. Rest of, we want some pie. He's like, what's the recipe? He's, Eddie Murphy's like, come on, man. He, she wouldn't have the recipe to that. <laughs> it was such a small, like, come on, man. It was have a the breaking to point. That? Martin yeah. was reaching his breaking point. Eddie yeah. was like, yo, man, this ain't the... When I started podcasting, an online store was the furthest thing from my mind. Now I'm selling all kinds of merch. All oh, I'm worth it. I got new things coming, and it's all so easy thanks to Shopify. Shopify... It's a global commerce platform that helps you sell out at every stage of your business. From the launch your online shop stage to the first real life store stage, all the way to did we just hit a million dollar stage, which I hope to get to one day. Shopify is there to help you grow, whether you're selling scented soap or offering outdoor outfits or t-shirts and hoodies like me. Shopify helps you sell everywhere from their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system, wherever and whatever you're listing, Shopify's got you covered. All right. Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the Internet's best converting checkout up to 36 percent better compared to other leading commerce platforms and sell more with less. Thanks to Shopify Magic, your AI powered all star. All right. Listen, we gearing up 
for tour. We're gearing up for Black Friday and I have no worries because I know Shopify is going to get them orders in and out with a quickness. Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce businesses in the U.S. And Shopify is a global force behind all birds, Rafi's and Brooklinen and millions of other entrepreneurs, every size across 175 countries. Plus Shopify's extensive help resources are there to support you success every step of the way because businesses that grow, grow with Shopify. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash bald, all lowercase. Again, go to shopify.com slash bald now to grow your business. No matter what stage you're in, shopify.com slash bald. And now back to the show. How much does it cost to turn these white only flies in the nigga box? How about that three? Yeah, the nigga. We said about three miles. <laughs> three miles. <laughs> three miles. Three, 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 three miles. Ain't those white folks that serious about pies down here. The, Even small lines like walked off smooth with my drink. Yeah, still say that today. They can <laughs> say it by the way I walk. I ain't from around here. <laughs> you gonna eat your cornbread? Mm-hmm. Don't be scared. We looking for Slim. You found him. <laughs> what he said? JoJo thought that was the most funny thing because Slim was big. Joe yeah. was like, "Man, this that's, is what I'm talking." That's about. comedy, Dad. Because you see, he's big, right. and then his voice the is play high. on words, Dad. And then Melissa came and look at the shorts. <laughs> I got, I got the Joe. <laughs> Joe Joe today, his room was so dirty. Uh, today? So, today. So last night, they be they be ordering Postmates, right? Mm-hmm. And they leave food in the room. And the dog be like. So the clean lady don't go in the boy's room. No, no. She, no, she, she don't do. She does, but she has to, like, how do I explain this? She will <laughs> clean the bathroom, uh-huh. but Melissa not going for that. Y'all let somebody clean y'all room. So they got to oh, make their bed. okay. Yeah, yeah. I feel that. Y'all got to wash your clothes, put your clothes away. Yeah. She really just cleans the bathroom, sometimes make the bed. I love it. But she do not, Melissa's like, y'all not being raised, right. have somebody clean your room like, I don't care. Yeah. And I'm like, Respect. I like that. Mm-hmm. So he had food on the, this is funny, because I tried to tag team, but I misread the situation. <laughs> he had left food in his room. So last night I'm like, hey, because I don't, I like to give him like some ownership of stuff, when yeah. to do it, but you got to do it. Right. So like, don't go to bed with that food. On your thing, because the dog be like, as soon as y'all are gone, as I'm eating that burger, I'm in and this. I'm finna doodle everywhere. And I don't, I've never learned this lesson. I'm finna doodle crazy. So if you leave it, whatever you <laughs> left, cheeseburgers, Chipotle, I'm, I'm finna go crazy. Yeah, I don't I'm care if I do the water for three days. That's your problem. So I'm like, Joe, don't <laughs> leave this in here. So uh-huh. Melissa had told him. <laughs> This morning she was like telling him, "Hey man, when you come home, put these clothes away." Yeah. Because you get in, you get in this bed, and these mm-hmm. clothes are dirty. But I thought she told him last night she didn't. Yeah. So she came in and make sure you put this away. He was like, "Yes, ma'am." Well, not yes, ma'am. He was like, "Okay." So I come in hot, and and that food better be put away. Come in, it's put away. <laughs> okay. Well, you better uh, when you get home, you better put that clothes <laughs> away. He was like, "Okay." And it better be quick. Okay. I said, hey, man, <laughs> stop answering fast. He was like, okay. I said, all right, now, <laughs> stop answering slow. He was like, okay. You know what? Give me my bill. <laughs> Give me my bill. Because <laughs> you're trying. <laughs> he, you're could, trying. <laughs> he couldn't do nothing. Because <laughs> you're messing up. Because you got me looking stupid because you did what I told you to do, but you didn't do what your mother just told you to do, even though she just told you to do it. I thought she told you to do it last night, but she did it. But I thought we was tag team. I gave her off the top rope and fell into the stairs. I was like, frog splash. Ah! You missed the whole table you were supposed to land, though. Bust my shoulder in. So now I got to jump Ross in. Jim Ross is like, oh, my God. Don't do it, Cam. Don't do it. Not like this. Came in. <laughs> Slipped off the turnbuckle. Ah! Landed on the steel steps. He now slipped the disc. <laughs> this. I was trying to help Liz and come in with the energy. Yeah. So you can't just walk out wrong, but do you know what? Close these blinds, then. I know that. I know that much. Oh. <laughs> he was being sarcastic, but he wasn't being sarcastic oh. enough, and I didn't like it. <laughs> That's funny. But anyway, <laughs> you better quit answering fast. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. So I was pissed off because you know you're being sarcastic. And he had his little stupid deep voice. I was getting pissed. <laughs> Don't answer that slow. Okay. Oh, you know what? <laughs> go to bed. I got to go to school. You know what? Go, go to school and go to bed. <laughs> but after school, as soon as you get home, go to bed. I got finals. I got, I got finals, though. I got to study for that. 
<laughs> after you study. <laughs> I want you to get in that bed, you hear me? There better not be no food in there. <laughs> the stuff better be put up. Happy you study. School's out tomorrow. You know what? For the you know what? For the summer uh you in summer school now. Since you since you got your degree, you know everything. <laughs> oh. Just can't be I just couldn't be wrong because I came in too. I could have looked and then I would have known. But I oh, came yeah. in. I knew he didn't put it away, Tone. I knew he ain't put it away. Oh. He absolutely threw it away. He also threw it away. You came in. <laughs> Joe is who we thought he was. And we let him off the hook. What? The food ain't in here. Oh. <clears throat> Go to bed. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> You're up, Tom. Oh, Emma. Mm -hmm. uh, whew. I'm going to go New Jack City. New Jack City? New Jack City, man. That has one of my least favorite quotable lines. Oh, well, that line is terrible. Oh, That's a line you'll never forget. I want to shoot you so bad. My dick's hard. Said, yo. Cut. <laughs> Cut. Cut. Ice? What? Ice? Cut. That is not in the script. What are you talking about? Cut. <laughs> Why'd you improv that? <laughs> I just figured, you know, this is the moment. This is the culmination of, of just <laughs> the buildup of getting Nino Brown down. And I want to kill him so bad, but I can't. So I, I just need to equate that so the, so the male audience could know how bad I want it. No. No. And it's the way he was standing over him. The camera was yeah. up. The gun was his dick. <laughs> and I want to insert it inside you. Like, what? Cut! Stop, hey, stop, stop. Just, stop saying that. Just, no. Stop, stop saying that, man. <laughs> the bullets I put in him is like my semen coming out. No, cut again. What's ice? Going into grace. <laughs> Going into grace. Kai, uh, listen, stop. I know this is your first star in role. Stop, stop. Just, we don't need this. Stop. You can say anything else. Anything else. I don't I don't care if I go to jail. I don't care if I lose my job. Right. But, no, but please, let's roll it again, guys. <laughs> I want to shoot you so bad. <laughs> I want to put my, I want to, you know, I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say, Mario, I'm going to say it again. <laughs> Mario, I can't do nothing else but say this. Mario was like, you know what? We we over time, we over budget. Just just do it. Just keep Woo! it. Yes. <laughs> he went right back to it. Yes. Yeah. I want to shoot this so bad. My dick's hard. Oh, Wesley was just like <laughs> laying in the trash, like that's what you chose, huh? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Nino Brown, rock a bye, baby. I love Nino Brown. Nino Brown's one of the best characters all the ever. time. He ever. tried to tell you about Ronald Reagan in that movie. He did. He they, the we end? didn't know. He had a point in that courtroom. He really did, man. He had a point in that courtroom. We, we, we ain't got no planes, <laughs> man. We ain't got no planes. <laughs> We're not the ones flying that shit in here, man. And then he flipped it on Christopher Williams' character. <laughs> it was him. <laughs> He is Nino Brown. It worked. He got off. Oh, my God. He was hyped when he got out. <laughs> Wesley Snipes used to play that cocky character so good. Sidney Dean is that character. Demolition Man, which oh, yeah. I will not argue is a great movie. He's great But it in is it. one of my favorite. I love him as Simon Phoenix. He's great in it. I, he was so good with the blonde hair. Yeah. Oh, He's a great villain. He's great. Yeah. And he was killing, and the taxes won. You know what I'm saying? But the I'm taxes just really just derailed everything. But yeah. yeah, for sure. It's more fun. Am I my though. brother's keeper? Oh, am I my brother's keeper? Man, man. Yes, I didn't catch who said it, but Nutty Professor. Mm. That's mm. your pick. Oh, Hercules. 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 <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sherman. That. I fully a hundred percent believe. That was a complete family. One, Eddie Murphy, I remember at the time being like, you can't be this talented. No. Because he disappears as, those. he's not just being funny in a costume. No. He is the mom, he is the dad, 
He is the grandma. The we uncle. Had, we had relations. Oh, my God. <laughs> we had relations. How many people say, said relations after that? For right. like 20 years. Hot, lovely relations. Hot, lovely relations. Mm. The fact that he played his his mom and her mom. Yes. And they, they, Himself. they felt and looked completely different. It was just Tone. like. You can't be. God really turned it up to the max. Man. On Eddie Murphy. Like. That scene with Dave Chappelle. Oh yeah. Oh my. Ah! 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 <laughs> he was so obnoxious. Man, he was doing the most. <laughs> it was so funny. He played so many characters in there. I don't know how he didn't get an Oscar nomination for that. They be because hating they don't on comedy. Think comedy. Comedy. They be hating on comedy. Don't, don't man. piss me off. He was Sherman. He was. He was the alter ego. He yeah, was the mom, love. the dad, the grandmother. Come on, man. And each was, one was so different. Dog, when they was fighting at the farting at the dinner table. Oh man. When he did this. <laughs> <laughs> I was crying. Uh, His lip was big. Man. <laughs> and Sherman at the at the at the core of it, the heart of it, just, just a good you loved guy, Sherman. Man. You felt you were rooting for Sherman. Man. Come on, Cletus. Yes. Come on, come on, spandex. Come on, oh, spandex. Come on, clean. The uncle was wild with the uh, with the overalls. Man, man. <laughs> All right, what you got, Tom? All right, so I got the Godfather. Godfather got is it. heavily quoted. Got to have it. I gave him enough that he couldn't. Refuse. Man. People be quoting Godfather at all points in time when it's just like, oh, so you know what I'm saying. Keep the cannoli. Love <laughs> it. Godfather is heavily quoted. Love it. <laughs> Man. Yeah. And people be quoting that on some serious shit. They not even talking. No. It be like real life stuff. They go to a Godfather Absolutely. quote. Because it was like, serious you just business. A, you just do a, uh, yeah. okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Let me think. Yeah. Cause I'm, I'm going comedy heavy. I'm gonna go Dumb and Dumber. Okay. Dumb and Dumber. I personally mm. think that there's so many funny lines that I requote. Our pets' heads are falling off. Mm. I don't know <laughs> Dumb and Dumber like everybody else. What? I never got into it. <laughs> Leo. Never got into You've it. You've seen it. I saw it though. Just once. In its entirety, just once. The snowball Please. to the face is my favorite part. Yeah, but that's silly. You don't like silly. It was. It was, it was funny. It was. Oh, like, you are missing out. I saw it though. I know, but you ain't rewatch it enough. I mean, when he was trying to marry, remember uh, Mary's name, and it was Swanson. He was like, I saw, I saw, I saw Swanson. Check the briefcase. Samsonite. I knew it was starting with an S. <laughs> but he had already said Swanson. Swanson. Dog, time out. When he hit his time out, time out. Want to go to a little place called Aspen. You want to hear the most annoying sound? Oh, yeah. Ah! I know You're sucking back on Grandpa's old cough medicine, are you? <laughs> There's something about marriage that's more quotable Oh, for man, me. you always bring that up. This is more no matter what we're talking me. about, you always going to bring up something about marriage. We ain't talking about that. You can say that when it's your turn. Dumb and Dumber deserves everything, man. <laughs> but there's something about marriage that's had nah, more quotable. Nah, man. man. Dumb and Dumber got way more quotable than something about marriage. Frank Sabines, man. Frank Sabines, he was masturbating. <laughs> it's just in the beginning of the film. It's good, though. It's super quotable in the first 15 minutes. So is Dumb and Dumber. Man, when Lloyd looked into our eyes at the end of the movie and was like, listen, man, just level with me. What are our, what are our chances? I, I came a long way, Mary. What are our chances? She's like, not good. Just give it to me. One in a hundred and a million. So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> I reach up. I desperately want to make love to a schoolgirl. Yeah. Like, Harry, you're alive. You're a terrible shot. Harry shot over him. <laughs> Golly, man. <laughs> I want you to enjoy this with me at the same level I enjoy it. I saw it, dude. It was a good nah, time. man. Hush. <laughs> What's your next one? Color purple. Oh, yeah. Color purple, man. <laughs> Color purple. You told Harpo to beat me. Uh, all my life I had to fight. Everything you've done to me. Till you do right by me. 
You show is ugly. You show is ugly. That's such a bad line. It wasn't in the new one, and that was sad. I was yeah, like, they hey, took it out of the new one. Come on, man. Fan- to- Fantasia ain't ugly enough. She's neither is Whoopi Goldberg. No. Whoopi Goldberg is gorgeous. Young Whoop. Young Whoop. Come on, man. But you know what I'm saying? I was sad, but well, I Fantasia, feel like- man, we, we just wasn't buying it. No, we wasn't buying it. We was like, ain't yeah. no way. No, we was like, man, hush. <laughs> Not on Fanny. Well, that line don't even work. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> Eyes married now. It's going to rain on your head. Man. Because I seen what Fantasia was working with underneath them clothes. <laughs> Want to talk to you guys real quick about one of our sponsors, Factor. One more sunnier days are calling. Fill up for them with Factor's no prep, no mess meals. Meet with your wellness goals in time for summer thanks to the menu of chef crafted meals with options like Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto Factors. Fresh, never frozen meals are dietitian approved and ready to eat in just two minutes. So no matter how busy you are, you'll always have time to enjoy nutritious, great tasting meals. Make today the day you kickstart your healthy routine. What are you waiting for? With 35 different meals and more than 60 add-ons to choose from every week, you'll also have new flavors to explore. Crush your wellness goals this month with your dietitian approved meals and ingredients that you can trust. Make your day delicious from breakfast to dessert. Stay fueled with easy, nutritious options. Treat yourself to restaurant quality meals that feature premium ingredients like filet mignon, shrimp, and blackened salmon. Keep kitchen time to a minimum. Factor meals are ready in two minutes. No shopping, prepping, cooking, or cleaning up. Enjoy effortless support for your lifestyle. Choose from six menu preferences to help you manage your calories, maximize protein intake, avoid meat, or simply eat well-balanced. Heard... Head to factormills.com slash ballbros50 and use your code ballbros50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month. That's code ballbros50 at factormills.com slash ballbros50 to get 50% off your first order box plus 20% off your next month while your subscription is active. Thank you and back to the show. <laughs> she couldn't add it. That was like... Mm. Yo, got your glasses. <laughs> All on my glasses, man. Oh, this was my favorite. I had my glasses Woo! crooked. I was like, okay. <laughs> I see what Fantasia's doing at the knee. Oh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> All right, got one more each. We got one more each? Mm-hmm. Let me think oh, of something. It's on, yeah, it's on you. Are you going to do something about Mary? No, I didn't have it written down. Oh, I'm gonna do it then. <laughs> after all that, after you done incinerated me, <laughs> because you gonna throw there something about Mary in there, as it should be. It should be. I'm. Just... <sighs> There's something about Mary is highly quotable. Franks and beans, man. <laughs> I, dog, it was like six years straight. Oh man, Franks I and beans. <laughs> Warren, <laughs> seven minute abs. That's the number seven. Actually, you know what I'm gonna go with. I'm going to go with Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, that's a good one. That movie. That's a good one. <laughs> man. <laughs> it's some of the random lines that I love. Why yeah. don't you fix yourself a dang quesadilla? Quesadilla. Fine. <laughs> when that dude kicked his tater tots in the cargo pants, you, I said, now this is cinema. Uncle Rico. <laughs> <laughs> got to throw this clear open. <laughs> that movie felt so random. Oh, my God. When Chip was like. Your mom goes to college. <laughs> it's little laugh. <laughs> it was such a stupid thing. Your mom goes to college. Uh, <laughs> he had the serial killer glasses on. I <laughs> saw that dude as it was like, yo, what is this? Man, I'm I watched that with it. Melissa and her sisters, and they thought it was the stupidest movie ever. Yeah. I was like, why don't y'all get this? Right. <laughs> but it got funnier every Rewatch. Rewatch, yeah, but yeah, I say eat the. Food. <laughs> I could get people not liking it initially, oh, yeah. but, but I then, like quirky movies like that. Yeah, me yeah. too. I'll be like, all right, what you got, Tom? I'm gonna throw Scarface in the mix. On oh the yeah, Scarface. Say hello to my little friend. Say hello to my little friend. Say hello to my little friend. Get the Yale. Get the Yale. I'm gonna get you that. Okay. Yeah, Scarface. All right, top ten quotable movies. We got Friday coming to America. Anchorman, Life, New Jack City. Except for that one line, the other lines. Nutty Professor, Godfather, Dumb and Dumber, <laughs> Color Purple, Napoleon Dynamite, and Scarface. Next up, worst black nicknames. Okay. I'm going to go first. Yeah, I said it all. Pooda Butt. That is terrible. <sighs> Pooda Butt? Pooda Butt. That's terrible. I never thought I would hear Pooda Butt more than once. That's terrible. But there's been a lot of Pooda Butts. Mm. Pooda terrible. Butt is... It's it got to be an age cap on that. Man, that's the thing. There's too many nicknames that go beyond yeah. 
And there's a lot of fart and stink mm-hmm. nicknames within the black That's community. That's one of the names I got on my list. Who the butt? Stink, stink. Go. Stink, stink. Get it out of here, Get man. it out of here, man. Oh, my God. You stink? No, man. <laughs> no. But you stink. I, people be using it as like a term of endearing. No, nah, man. Come on, stink. Uh, hey, stink. I be like, I hate y'all. <laughs> Watch out, man. man. I'm 47. All right, little stink. You mad now? You done rose your kids. You think you that stink? I hate stink? it, man. Mm-hmm. 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 Poot. 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 Poot is my next one. Oh, Poot. Yeah, that's tough. Come on, man. Yeah. Poot. Remember Poot from uh, the, wire? the Wire? That's what made me think of it. <laughs> Just calling that man Poot. Poot. He's got a gun on him. I don't want to call you Poot. As, as, <laughs> now that we grown men, we on the corners. We didn't kill people. I don't want to call you Poot. They killed Wallace, and he was like, they come on, Poot. Poo. Nah, man. Man, what are we doing here? I'm calling here? you something else. In the moment when we kill Wallace, I'm going to be like, hey, I'm going to turn the gun. I ain't going to be calling you Poot no more, by the way. I gotta call what you was something his else. real name? I don't know. <laughs> Did they ever say it? I feel like they might have said it if, if they were Malik. suspects. Malik was his That's real name? That's what he said. Wait. Man. Call me Malik now. Right. <laughs> you got Wallace's dead body here? Come, Come on, on. Poot. Nah. Malik. It's Malik. <laughs> you Malik today? <laughs> you Malik that blood on Wallace. Oh, my God. Mm-mm. All right, what you got? I got uh, Skeeter. That's Melissa's mom's nickname for her. Skeeter. No, no, that's yeah. Scooter. Yeah. You don't like cousin. You like cousin Skeeter. The Skeeter can go, man. What's wrong with Skeeter? The Skeeter can go. Mm. You gotta outgrow and get the hell up out of here, man. <laughs> Skeeter, here goes Skeeter, man. Watch out, man. And Skeet Skeet done turned into oh. the sexual now. Skeet Skeet. <laughs> Skeeter, nah. Look at this. See, get Kiki Jones says I call my six year old Tinky Boot, Tinky Butt Baby. Come on, Tinky Butt. That's so Kiki. long. Tinky Butt Baby. My mom called me Bubbling Brown. That's a good nickname. Bubbling Brown. What? What's the what, why? Uh, I guess because I'm See? bubbly and brown. That's what I'm talking about. I can get with that all day. <laughs> My homeboy Ant Anthony Davis from the Playmakers. His dad calls him Johnny. Okay, yeah. No reason. Come here, Johnny. I was like, why you call that? He's like, oh, I'm just. Oh, he ain't got no, Anthony name Terrell ain't Davis. He calls that boy Johnny. That's right. I love black nicknames they have. <laughs> It no, make no sense. Dog, uh, Melissa has an Uncle Eddie B, uh, and his name is like Ray. What? Ray Johnson. So they just they just giving you a totally different name. Uncle Eddie B. That's you now. I love that in the black community, but Tinky Butt Baby, <laughs> yuck. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go Man Man. Oh yeah. Hate Tired Man Man. Tired of that. I think I wrote that down. Hate. Man, man. Oh, no, I ain't write it down, but I hate it. I don't it. even know what it is. I hate it. Mm, man, man. Man, man. Come on, man, he man. man. He's just standing there in his diapers <laughs> with nothing else. <laughs> you know he got fries in his hand. Or a chicken tender. A chicken nugget. Come on, man. Man. Come on, man, man. Stop it. Yeah. Call him Malik. <laughs> it's always good. Malik Carr. I hate fat fat. Fat fat. Oh my god. Come here, fat fat. All right, man. Enough. Man. Fat fat. Soggy diaper fat fat. Fat fat. Nah, With man. With the little Kool-Aid mustache. <laughs> Got the juice just <laughs> sticky juice on his on his chest. Man, somebody wash this kid and get him dressed. That's fat fat. <laughs> fat fat. Always drinking juice. Wait, <laughs> like, man, get the <laughs> Get these kids out of here, man. <laughs> I'm out of here. Always drinking juice. Man. Ah, <laughs> juice. <laughs> no, fat, fat. You had enough. Ah, popsicle. No, no, fat, fat. I took a nugget. You just fat, ate. Fat. I got broccoli in here, asparagus. I don't broccoli. Go to bed. Oh, fat, <laughs> I hate it, man. That kid's always sticky. Always. Your hands, why are your hands sticky Me again? Walking diabetes. <laughs> got dirt and the lollipop things. All of it. <laughs> walking diabetes. Just walking in. Insulin. Ah, juice. Ah, juice. Man, go to bed, fat, fat. Fat, fat. I'd be proud of parents like Mel 
Their kids only drink water. Oh, that's beautiful. I'd be proud. Yeah. Just straight water. I they love ask, it. The babies ask for water. I'd be loving that. Fat Fat drink Dr. Pepper. Oh, dude, no, 100%. <laughs> I'm pop. Room temp. <laughs> that's what you know he said. Room temp Dr. Pepper. I want it. <laughs> that's that Dr. Pell. That's Dr. Pell. Oh. That's that Dr. Pell. So far, we got Pooter Butt, Stink Stink, Poot, Skeeter, Man Man, and Fat Fat. Mm-hmm. You got any more? Yep. Go ahead. Hell yeah. Kiki. I'm sick of it. What? Kiki. I'm done. Not no 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 disrespect to Kiki Palmer though. That's oh, her, yeah. that's her actual and Kiki name, Jones you know who's in there. But the nickname Kiki. Yeah. I got issue with. Really? Let's get more creative with it. Let's let's go. When Kiki Do You Love Me came out, there's Kiki's all across the land. <sighs> Kiki, oh. do you love me? Are <gasps> you riding? Will you never ever see that beside me? Because I love you and I need you. If your name ain't Kiki, get it out of here. <laughs> get it out of here. Kiki, do you know she don't love you? She love the streets. Hush. She is not riding. She is not riding. The sides will be left. <laughs> Kiki. Oh, no, I love man. Kiki. Watch out. Bro. I'm going to go Dookie. Yes. There's a, there's a good amount of grown men I, I follow this. The wire again. Dookie. Dookie. Dang, you call me Duke. Man, come on. It's not, your, not the full version of Dookie. Nah, man. Dookie come on, Duke Robinson. <laughs> Terrible. I'm Dookie L now. It used to be Duke. Now it's Dookie L Robinson. Oh, I hate Duke Dookie, Yule. man. <laughs> Kiki's real name is Lauren. Oh, so she been a nickname this whole Her time? Her name is Lauren. Is her middle name something? Well, how about that? What is Kiki's middle name? Because it sure is now Lauren. Now I'm looking at Kiki. Kiana. Palmer. Lauren Kiana Palmer. I was like, I thought okay, she had a derivative or something. It's connected. It's connected. Yeah. But, you know, Lily, it ain't the same. It's connected. All right, what you got, Tom? So I got up in here uh, Pookie. You don't like Pookie? Pookie? Nah. Pookie, Pookie is a... Uh, I know some Pookies, but I'm just There's like, a couple Pookies out in the world. Yeah. Grown men. Yeah. Still going by Pookie. Nah. Pookie is a nickname people always throw. You know, Pookie Ray Ray and them. Pookie's yeah. always yeah. included in the random... I'm tired of the Pookies. <laughs> tired of it. I've had it. A lot of people hate Pookie. I'm tired of it. What man. about Mookie? Mookie, I don't hear as much. Pookie is common. But Pookie is just my boy Andre. His family called him Pookie. We got Pookie that used to produce uh, chocolate, chocolate Sundays. Sundays. Nah, I'm out. I'm out on yeah, Pookie. Yeah, Pookie Ray Ray Tyrone. That's man. all. <laughs> Ray Ray T Bone. <laughs> I'm out, man. I never really met no T Bone. T Bone. Remember they had T Bone in the wire? In the Walking Dead? Dead. Like, ain't nobody named T Bone no more. That pissed me off about that character. It's like, we don't know no black people. What y'all call yourself? Man. T Bone will do. T Bone sounds good. Well, nah, we don't really use it. Nah, action. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, man. T Bone. Uh, I'm going to go June Bug. No, I'm sick of June Bug. June Bug. I'm going to tell you the moment I turn on, I'm going to get you, sucker. (laughs) <laughs> the, the dude in the all gold was June Bug in all gold. Yep. That's how I was like, man, I'm with June y'all, Bug. man. June yeah. Bug was dead with all the gold chains on. Ugh. That's when it changed. That's when I was like, June, June Bug. Bug. Tired of I it. I hate it. Tired of it. It's, I think it's a version of Junior, but June I don't like Bug. it. Hate June Bug. I don't like Boo. Boo? Like my boo, like Usher. Now, if you if you dating somebody and they call you that, that's fine. But anybody outside of your dating space and you, they just boo, nah. Really? No, no disrespect, Boo Capone. Yeah, Boo Capone. Man. I, nah, boo, man. Boo, boo Capone is Boo Capone. Yeah, it's it's a it's package deal. Package I, deal I, I never call him Boo by itself. Boo Capone is a moniker, even though it's two names. Right. Exactly. But just Boo. Boo Capone stands outside of this. Thought. What up, Boo? Nah. Nah, man. Mm-mm. I'm out. And I hate that song. Which one? Uh, Usher and Alicia Keys. Oh, you don't like my that song? My boo. Oh, my I God. I like that song. My oh, uh, my uh, oh. Man, when she came out of the Super Bowl, I was like. I didn't clap and I didn't look at the TV. How you not like that, Cause man? Because I hate it, man. <laughs> hate it. My boo. Yeah. My oh, my uh, oh. oh. I was so mad Usher singing. Come on, man. I was pissed. My, oh. I like my that boo. song, man. I was like, no. 
And I like Alicia Keys and Usher, especially at that time. Man, individually and, and yeah. together. And then I hated that together. Oh, I don't like that song. Man. All right, we got Poodle Butt, Stink Stink, Poot, Skeeter, Man Man, Fat Fat, Kiki, Dookie, Pookie, Junebug, and Boo. I'm throwing in Peanut as well. Peanut? Yeah, I'm sick of that too. You know what's funny about that? Peanut, fix me some of that Dick Gregory. <laughs> I tried to make Isaiah's nickname Peanut. Uh, I was trying to force it in the hospital, uh, and then and nobody was going for it. <laughs> I was like, "Come here, Peanut!" And they was like, well, "Come nah, on, man! Watch out, man! You, can't, you, you can't just and they're like, what's his nickname?" To the nurse, I was like, "Peanut." She was like, "All right." <laughs> like literally, nobody went with me. So after the third day, I was just like, "It's just Isaiah now." <laughs> and Zay Zay came more naturally. Yeah, Zay. But I was like, Peanut. Yeah. And they were like, Nah, man. <laughs> you forcing it. It felt forced. Because I came in Peanut early, no no reason. It's like, Here's your baby. I was like, Peanut. Peanut, y'all. Everybody was like, The record scratched. <laughs> all the machines shut off at the hospital. People flatlined. There was no sound. <laughs> just, the power just went off. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Somebody that was fighting for their life snapped to it. They came out the coma. Nah, man. Nah. Peanut, you forcing it. And then they went back into the coma. You forcing it, man. That woke it me up. It was so whack, man. Yeah. It didn't even feel good saying it. I was like, hey, Peanut. He was like, man, shut up, bro. And I know I'm just born, but I, God gave me some words for hey, this. man. Nah. Don't, don't say that, man. What if he said no in that immediate moment? Peanut. Nah. Gurgle. And then he went back to baby stuff. <laughs> no. <laughs> but nah, to that peanut, man, I want you to, I want you to, know, I want you to be clear on that. Yeah, I'm with you. I just want to let you know. Linen like Caesar? No. No. <laughs> no. no. Did, did you look? He had jeans on. Like, where the hell you get jeans from, peanut? I said no. <laughs> Oh. Oh. oh my God! <laughs> you unraveled the blankets. <laughs> he had jeans on and the strong no, no. Oh my God! All right, y'all, that's it. Enough <laughs> Bar Brothers for today. Quit y'all jobs, man. Quit y'all jobs. I can't stress this enough. Join us, man. Right, but don't quit your job. You got to leave the Patreon. Come back in. I right, still we'll be see. quitting jobs. <laughs> we ought to be turning stuff down. <laughs> we'll see y'all next week. Patreon, we we right back at it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, we're making good time, Tom. Yeah.